I just got back from Luton 1, West Brom 1. I don't know what to make of that game. Am I happy with a point? Yes. If you offered me the point before the game, I would have taken the point. The way I see it, it's a point towards safety. I look at the team, I look at the performances, I look at that Tahith Chong goal today. Okay, so... Starting with, starting with the goal, it's a really weird place to start today. That Tahith Chong goal, it was a great goal. For me, the way I see it, is that the first piece of individual quality that we've seen in this Luton Town team this season so far that has led to a goal? Yes, it is. That is the first piece of individual quality that we've seen in this team this season. Do we need more of those? Yes, we do. And I think that was a great performance from Tahith Chong. I'll start right off the bat with the positives. It was a great performance. And that was two back-to-back -back performances from Tahith Chong where we've seen what he can do. Truly what he can do. And I'm happy that Edwards didn't take him off. And I'll go right away and let, let's talk about the substitutions today. Quite rightly, when Edwards took off Tom Krause, there were boos. Tom Krause was absolutely fantastic today. And he's become a firm fan favourite. He was winning the ball up high on the pitch. He was giving us so much impetus going forward. His passing again was fantastic. It was just in the final third that we weren't clicking to get those goal scoring chances. And I don't understand why he was taken off. Maybe it's because it's a three game week and because he needs to start the next game. That's the only thing I, I can think of really as to why Tom Krause came off. The crowd weren't happy, quite rightly so. When you have five subs you can make. Why are we only making three? And that game, yes, it finished 1-1. And at times, it looked like the old days of the conference. Luton playing Hyde, Luton playing Hazen Yedding, Luton playing Gateshead. Because I actually lost track of how many times Alex Palmer kicked the ball straight out of play. And how many times passes, simple passes from both teams just weren't going to the team that they were meant to go. It got scrappy at times. It was, uh, I don't know, I think as a neutral, a neutral might have enjoyed it. As a fan at the stadium, at times, it was a tough watch. I was just thinking, oh, you know, I, I really want to hang on for a point here. Desperate for a point. The mood when we went one down pretty much on the stroke of half time and it was a very it it was kind of very kind of a goal that we've grown accustomed to see Luton concede it wasn't it was a goal that was avoidable again it was a little lapse at the back is it, it yes it was a very cheeky finish from Josh Madger and he back healed it right through Jordan Clark's legs look it's a goal that we've grown so accustomed to seeing unfortunately all right uh, i've got some more positives amari bell ted and mengi it was tremendous seeing them both getting 90 minutes and it was touch and go with ted and especially uh, i thought quite a few times he went down but then we took a quick throw and he had to get up again and i don't know if he actually went down because he needed medical treatment or he went down to try and manage the game you know the memo didn't get across to the left hand side so we taken the, the quick throw the ball came straight to him and, you know, I, I thought it was a very good defensive performance, especially from Tedden. Uh, Amari, he shows what we've been missing on the left-hand side, you know, the way he drives forward with the ball. But now we have a three-game week. So what's going to happen? Amari can't play all those games. I don't think Tedden can play all those games. Rob said in his post-match with Sky, yeah, we rushed them back. I don't know how they will play all the games in the game week but i guess we'll see the game reached a point where it was i'll call it attritional it was quite attritional i started thinking wow how many ex barnsley players are there on the pitch right now there's Devante cole jacob brown jordan clark callum styles i think carlin grant played for them as well i was thinking this is crazy. Barnsley FC versus Barnsley FC right now. This is mad. And that, anyway, that, that goes to tell you like how the game was. Fortunately, Kaminsky played a blinder as well because Devante Cole could have nicked it at the end as well with uh, quite a nice overhead kick. But I found myself at the end 
it was a weird one, really, because I had a few people message me afterwards because uh, they spotted me clapping, clapping the team off. Has it got to this point where it's sort of just normal to clap off that performance? I don't know why I stayed. I don't know why I clapped. I would actually go down as saying that West Brom side were amongst the worst side that I've seen at Kenilworth Road this season. And that's crazy because that's a team that came into this fifth in the table. Yes, they're, they're, they're winless in six and they've drawn their last four games. Like this, this is the fifth game they've drawn now. They really didn't look great. And you could tell from the lineup that Carlos Corboran has started to rejig to try and find that winning touch again. Like Jed Wallace, a player that's sort of been out of the first team and he came in. Tom Fellows, who has actually been fantastic. He, he was taken out of the lineup. Carlin Grant, who started the season really well, and he absolutely terrorized us down the left-hand side. I felt Hashi did quite well with him, but at the same time, when Carlin Grant put on the afterburners, Hashi, you know, couldn't keep up with him. But fair play, I thought Hashi defensively, he did a great job, especially in the second half when we reverted to a 4-4-2. But it was a very fluid 4-4-2 with Tahir Chong dropping to sort of keep an eye on, on Tom Fellows when he came on, as well as tracking runners down West Brom's right-hand side. It was a 4-4-2 but very fluid, as I say. And we sort of saw Hashi in the right back position, the position that we bought him to play in. And I thought he was very good. His delivery, sometimes it leaves a lot to be desired, but I guess it's a point gains. It's a point, and people won't like me saying this because some people have been saying, oh yeah, we can, I've heard others say, we can still make the playoffs. Curb your expectations because we're not making the playoffs. Not unless something drastically changes. As going back to what I was saying at the beginning of this reaction, that Tahith Chong moment and that goal was the only moment of magic. And you're seeing other teams, you're seeing Borja signs in Norwich. You know, he's coming out with moments of magic, multiple moments of magic per game. You see lots of teams. You see Cardiff, the team we have up next. Ruben Colwill just grinding out moments of magic. We don't have that. There's none of that in this team. It's sort of a workman-like team where everyone, you know, the point is to outwork the opposition. But when the opposition has moments of magic, like that magic goal today, that was a moment of magic. Where are our moments of magic? I don't feel we're scoring enough and we're going to have to outwork a lot of teams just to try and get three, four places above where we are. Look, the real test comes up next with Cardiff. That's a team that will try and outwork us. But they also have Ruben Colwell. They have, and Aaron Ramsey as well. They have players that can give them those moments of magic. One thing that I've seen, and one thing that's been the case for a long time, three game weeks, we struggle. We really do. And as it stands right now, do we have the options in the squad to freshen it up? To freshen it up and remain competitive? I don't know. It's an interesting one. That, that goes back to the idea of we should have used more substitutions. Because I feel that game, it was in the balance. Like, we had the better of the first half. They scored against the run of play. The second half was kind of even. But the game was there for the taking. We should have gone for the jugular a bit more. We shouldn't be scared to have shots from outside the box. When Liam Walsh came on, he was happy to take shots from outside the box. But ultimately, no one else is. And I had this thought. I was actually having a discussion on Twitter a few days ago. It was around about the time that Bor Hassan scored that screamer for Norwich. And I was thinking, what was our last goal that we scored from outside the box? There aren't many. Like the one that I could think of off the top of my head was Henry Lansbury against Hull. And then someone said, yeah, Jordan Clark against Man City. Yep, yeah, that was outside the box. Why aren't we trying to do more from outside the box? These moments are magic. We got to make these moments of magic. But ultimately, it's a game today where it was meh. It was meh, but it was a point. 
It was a point gained against a team in the playoffs. And shouldn't we be happy about that? But why are we clapping this off? I don't know. I really don't. But I guess it's the new norm. I, I did know we'd struggle this season. I didn't think we'd struggle to this degree. But as I said, it's a point against a team in the playoffs. A game that we didn't lose at home. Colton Morris seems really enthused. He's backing the manager. I just hope the rest of the players are backing the manager and start putting in consistent performances that show they're backing the manager. But in terms of squad freshness, rotation, the squad's quite thin. Like Victor Moses went off at half time. Is he injured? I don't know. Is he knackered because he wasn't brought in to be a 90 minute, 90 minute, 90 minute back to back player? I don't know. It's amazing how we had a transfer window and the squad has just come out so unbalanced. Where are the wingbacks? Where are the options? I don't know. It's, it's going to be a long, hard season. And to all the people that are predicting, I think second tier predicted first not the top 20 predicted promotion and all the Luton Town fans that predicted playoffs got to have a long hard look in the mirror a reality check because mid table would be good this season it really would nevertheless on to Cardiff Wednesday night under the lights let's hope for this home form by that I mean let's not lose Let's take it, because this is a game, I would say, which is our first six-pointer of the season. As always, come on you hatters.